హలో వెల్కమ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఎక్కు మైఎస్ అకాడమీ ఈరోజు మనతో డాక్టర్ ధరణి గారు ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ త్రీ యూపీఎస్సి ఎగ్జామినేషన్లో ఆల్ ఇండియా టూ ఫిఫ్టీ ఎత్ ర్యాంక్ సాధించారు నమస్తే అండ్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఎక్ మైఎస్ అకాడమీ మేడం థ్యాంక్ యూ సో థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ మ్యామ్ మీ రిజల్ట్ నేను చూశాను ఇంటర్వ్యూ అప్పుడు కూడా గైడెన్స్ చేయడం జరిగింది దిస్ వాజ్ యువర్ ఫోర్త్ అటెంప్ట్ కదా హౌ డిడ్ యూ ఫీల్ వెన్ యూ సా యువర్ నేమ్ ఇన్ ద లిస్ట్ ఫైనలీ after four years of struggle can you just tell us about your uh, struggle journey uh, yes uh, to start with i completed my dentistry and then i started my upsc journey starting itself i had to face a lot of uh, difficulties that i had to face uh, firstly parents me convince cheyadam adi chaala difficult ga untundi so and then i convinced my parents and they were very supportive after that and after that this entire society was against me because uh, after dentistry uh, uh, in our village and all the girls were married very early so okay. that was an- another difficulty that i faced and the study difficulty was a little <laughs> compared to all the uh, difficulties that the society has put upon okay. you are a tamilian uh, i've heard you speaking very good telugu also yes sir how come a tamil girl speaking telugu సార్ నాకు లాంగ్వేజ్ అంటే చాలా ఇష్టం సార్ సో నేనే నేర్చుకున్నాను నేను క్లాస్ ఏం ఏది వెళ్ళలేదు నా నాన్న ఒక షాప్ పెట్టారు లైక్ హీ హ్యాస్ అ షాప్ రీటైల్ షాప్ అక్కడ కొంచెం తెలుగు మంది వస్తారు కస్టమర్స్ వస్తారు అండ్ ఐ టాక్ విత్ దెమ్ ఐ ట్రై టు టాక్ విత్ దెమ్ అండ్ ఐ యూస్ చాట్ జీపీటీ ఆల్సో ఐ లా చాట్ జీపీటీ చాట్ జీపీటీ నాకు తెలుగు నేర్పించు అండ్ దెన్ ఇట్ విల్ టీచ్ మీ సంథింగ్ వెల్ ఐ గెట్ బోర్డ్ డ్యూరింగ్ ద ప్రిపరేషన్ ఐ డూ లైక్ దిస్ అండ్ ఐ వాచ్ మూవీస్ ఆల్సో తెలుగు మూవీస్ ఆల్సో వితౌట్ ద సబ్ టైటిల్స్ అండ్ ఐ ట్రై టు లర్న్ తెలుగు ఫ్రమ్ దట్ ఎస్టర్డే ఆల్సో ఐ సా ద భారతీయుడు మూవీ వితౌట్ ద సబ్ టైటిల్స్ ఓకే సో మ్యామ్ టెల్ మీ వన్ థింగ్ why are doctors coming into administration what is there any problem in the service industry problem in the service hmm. industry why are doctors aspiring see doctors lawyers they are all professionals by graduates right val enduku ee civic administration vai enduku ostunnaru so this major change has happened after covid i feel because uh, during the covid situation uh, many of the doctors who were in the uh, covid treating treating patients uh, they thought that they would be able to do better they will be able to prevent it from okay. the start itself if they are in the administration okay. so uh, i think uh, upsc has also put medical science as an optional subject yeah. inside this. so the uh, representation of each and every field is important in my opinion okay yes. okay so uh, what was your optional no nah, optional history sir your optional was ah. history any particular reason for choosing history as your option uh, naaku stories ante chaala ishtam sir andike uh, okay. history uh, i took okay. uh, and uh, i thought i'll be able to cover it within a short time also since i would have read history for prelims and mains also okay uh, and history preparation was uh, the self preparation only okay Uh, i did not take, take any, any coaching, coaching centers or... help for history optional okay. uh, but i took the help of coaching centers for writing test series only okay. okay so i thought i'll be able to manage better history by studying by myself and i really like the subject since you have to uh, study the optional subject for like 2 3 months entirely with yes. the same subject yeah ishtapatta teeskovali optional nen ishtapatta teesa so the interest dimension uh-huh. was most important factor yes sir uh this was your first means ma'am that you uh, this is my second uh, second means, means. Sir. Yes. Uh, the earlier means you written which year uh, 2022 22 you had written okay uh, can you give some tips to the freshers who start their upsc preparation uh, so firstly previous question sir uh, generally people tend to forget about previous question uh, but what i would say is upsc is communicating with us with the help of only two medium one is syllabus and another one is previous question so while starting the preparation people tend to uh, read each and everything but they uh, leave all the important area so to identify the important areas we have to concentrate upon previous questions uh okay. and the syllabus also obviously for prelims and mains mains the syllabus is very detailed and yes. uh, you should not read anything apart from the syllabus yes. is what i would suggest But as a teacher i have been seeing this i keep on telling my students read the syllabus booklet that has been given to you but there is some natural hesitancy why is it so 
I don't know. I also uh, did not concentrate upon the previous questions. That's why I was not able to crack my first two prelims itself. Okay. Uh, maybe uh, they do not know the importance of previous questions. Firstly, and How secondly, the they uh, yes, sir, uh, uh. syllabus. Syllabus. Firstly, yeah. Uh, and secondly, they wanted to read each and everything, cover each and every topic, leave no stone unturned. Because if I'm constricting to syllabus, my syllabus only, then I'm reducing my knowledge. Like that, they feel. So. Okay. Sometimes people feel like that also. Okay. So you feel that you know uh, what you suggest is first cover the syllabus. If time is available, do something yes, beyond this. Yes, sir. But you should definitely cover the entire syllabus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Problem with prelims is UPSC has not given any syllabus per se. It is just a reference point that it gives. Yes, sir. So how do I draw the boundaries of my prelims preparation as a student? Sir, previous questions would help you. PYQ's question yeah. only. From which core areas yeah. the questions yeah. are come? This was your strategy, ma'am. Yes, sir. Definitely. Today I was talking to one girl who came for counselling. She is a general category student. Uh, five attempts over. She is beautifully prepared for mains. But she lost in her fifth attempt of prelims also this year. Hmm. She came in a more or less, you know, a state of uh, complete uh, loss of self confidence. Hmm. What do we do with such students, like who are struggling to pass the prelims examination? So generally, there are two types of uh, handling prelims. One is precision method, and the other is probability method. Uh, I follow the precision method since I come from a doctor background also. Uh, if I do not know a particular thing, I won't. Keep okay. my leg in that area. Okay. So that precision method I took. But what happens with that method problem is I'll be attending very less number of questions, and the marks will also be comparatively less than the probability method. So that makes uh, that makes a little bit difficulty over here. So okay. to enter into the uh, predict. method probability method uh, one has to uh, in, improve the associated knowledge also okay. the peripheral knowledge also one has to improve so to identify this and to score more in the precision method also one has to do lot lot of mock tests okay uh, one of my friend uh, she did around 150 mock tests up before prelims and i did around 100 mock tests before prelims okay. and that really helped me okay uh, and all the 100 mock tests were in exam situation two hours i kept for yeah. each and every yeah. mock test yeah. and each and every mock test for analyzing each and every mock test i took around four or five hours yeah so it is basically reading the syllabus giving the test and analyzing the analyzing right Generally, and not to make the same mistake again, again because the silly mistakes only will cost our attention in my opinion generally i have seen this in students test series they call it the booklets are available in the market they just read the test series i am very vocal against this approach to prelims mm. preparation i also feel the way you said you should know the uh, you know syllabus of a mock test read that syllabus appear in the mock test as if it is an examination mm. for 2 years to us yes, and after that sit back and do the analysis where you have gone wrong why you have gone wrong. Mm. this is the right approach but i see lot of booklets being sold in the market people buy that and just casually read it mm. don't you think that's the wrong way of uh, preparing for prelims ma'am yes sir definitely because uh, while doing tests 100 tests under exam situation i can uh, look on whether the precision method will work or probability method will work okay. or if i'm studying polity if i'm studying lakshmikanth they are asking questions from lakshmikanth if i'm putting it under exam situation only under pressure situation only i'll be able to analyze which part i am making mistake so that silly mistakes get reduced so doing it under uh, like two hours fully okay. some people would do it in one hour or one and a half hours okay. that's also a little bit fine rather than reading it okay. reading the mock papers okay. but if you are not able to do anything at least read the read mock, the papers. mock papers. Yes. that's the last stop yes sir yes. probably that could be the last stop acha uh, tell me ma'am one thing when a student joins for the foundation class generally the spirit is that you know within one year i should complete my foundation also hmm. and my option should also be done in that year my mains preparation should also be done within that year and i should appear in the next upcoming prelims examination hmm. how do we stop this urge to do it in the first attempt and first year how do we stop so uh, i do not know that i am sitting here and talking about failures but failures are the biggest uh, teachers in life uh, i failed in my mains in my third attempt first time i am writing mains i failed in that mains and i was completely devastated because i thought i i would at least pass it 
with a little bit of margin but that failure made me uh, put of so much effort into it and that failure only made me ias right now sir uh, because i got only 698 in my first means now i got 819 i improved around 120 marks just because i failed in mains i th- the uh, marks would not be visible at that time it yeah. will be released later on yes, yes so i did not know how much margin lo nen fail ay pan so okay. what i did i put so much of effort into means that my mains mark drastically improved and i did it within those 4 5 yes. months only. yes 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 so failure teaches a very big lesson sir and uh, in this age of social media the instant gratification people tend to uh, not get the importance of that delayed gratification okay. and that delayed gratification like i didn't clear prelims for 2 years yeah and you wouldn't believe me while becoming ias like well while i got my rank also i was not that happy i was very very happy when i cleared my first prelims in the third attempt 3 years kashta padi chadvi i was not able to clear prelims first time i cleared prelims was i was in a very much happier state happy. than right now right even yeah. after making it final yeah so it's it basically a challenge you know twice you failed and third time when you passed the prelims So that's where I feel that uh, sense of achievement would yes, have uh, yes, come. Uh, tell me one thing, uh, because four years, five years into UPSC preparation, being a girl from a middle class family, a lot of stress, a mm-hmm. lot of expectations from the family. Even me as a girl, uh, how did you handle this? And what is your suggestion to many girls who are you know, aspiring for this? So firstly, I had very nice parents, so they didn't allow anything to come to me. But I saw uh, the struggle that my mother and father faced that really pained me. And my mother and my sister also, she's a doctor. Uh, those two women are the super women, I would say so. Because uh, sometimes I'll also get very down because the mental pressure would be very heavy. Yeah. Uh, at that time, my sister and my mom would be so much strong in the conviction that I have. So they'll be very confident in me. So that really helped me, sir. Okay. And all the pressures were there. But uh, at that time, my parents and my uh, sister took care of all those things. Okay. The only pressure that I had was scoring <laughs> nice marks in prelims, scoring nice marks in the main test series. That's all. Sir. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, you're also a doctor, right? I, I see a lot of my students, especially in Hyderabad, uh, repeatedly fallen sick. Mm-hmm. Uh, we understand the food in the hostel and the water and the atmosphere is not very good. Mm-hmm. As a doctor, what is your suggestion to address this uh, issue of concern for the students? Uh, so, firstly, the food hygienic preparation, that keeping that aside, yeah. uh, even when the food is hygienic, if they are falling ill, uh, the main reason would be to improve the immunity, to increase the uh, physical exercise that they do because it's a sedentary uh, way of living. for yeah. a new psc aspirant yeah. so we have to exercise and they would say sir health is a state of physical mental and social well being and all the well being <laughs> gets eliminated in the upsc in preparation the UPSC. we neglect our physical health we neglect our mental health and social well being also uh, like it will be associated with social media but uh, uh, it has been said a person has to talk around 3000 words per day but <laughs> they won't if they, they won't. are sitting in a room 12 yeah. hours 13 hours if they are studying daily so the amount of uh, social well being would get reduced definitely okay. so these have to be taken care of taken mindfully care. while doing the preparation okay. and uh, while i was doing my mains preparation the time that i got service uh, i was taking care of all these well being only physical well being was little bit i couldn't do much but okay. my mentally and uh, social well being was taken care of because i was studying in a uh, uh, in a, a hostel like environment by tamil nadu government non muslim scheme uh, okay. so there i had many friends and we used to discuss daily we used to talk daily and while talking also we would not uh, go to other uh, okay. irrelevant areas only we the... stuck to the uh, syllabus part so that really helped me in okay. both ways okay okay madam it is said that if you believe it you can do it how important or how essential this belief system works in ups mm. uh, sir um, we can say that as manifestation sir because uh, while i wrote my uh, second mains this last attempt 
my father my mother my sister everybody were believing in me so much i also believed so much because i couldn't clear mains by only 10 15 marks so what i did i put so much of effort at the same time i did not even think that i would fail so that was uh, heavily in me and i couldn't even go into the room and study for the next attempt uh, that might be wrong thing but uh, when i opened the door i felt like no need for opening this door you will pass this time like that so when the results were about to come uh, i felt like i was overconfident i was i should not be like this but there was not even an ounce of doubt that i will not clear my mind was saying like that only and my father was also saying the same thing again and again at one point in time i was so scared that i am so overconfident what if i do not clear this attempt uh, when the result came uh, i did not see the pdf sir because the first two attempts that i saw the pdf my name was not in it so i called my brother uh, and i told him like you have to see the pdf see and you have to tell me and when his like i told him when i pass only you should call or else don't call <laughs> so as soon as the pdf came i saw the pdf i i didn't open it i just saw the pdf in my form and my brother called at that time i knew i cleared, yeah, cleared uh, and i did not know the rank at that time so when he told 250 i was like okay nen i saw wali i know good 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 yes. good so manifestation was something that i did not have believe in but now i do yeah um i have observed this lot of students who are deserving hmm. they are struggling in upsc yes sir why is it so so sometimes upsc is not about not all about knowledge sir knowledge is equally important but how we are presenting that knowledge to the examiner in that pressure situation within the short 8 minutes or 12 minutes is very important sir so, uh, so it's an art of expression rather yes, than knowledge presentation yes, because we have to express ourselves then only they will be able to judge us based okay. on what we write okay. so uh, instead of accumulating so much knowledge taking the adequate amount of knowledge and presenting it nicely would be the better way of yes. uh, how about uh, telugu medium students or students who do not have a strong english background what is your suggestion for them so even you would have uh, seen me while giving my mock interview i was not this confident in my yes. english also at that time yes. so my english was also poor only i can write a little bit okay but my communication skill was not that much but they do not see how we uh, sophisticatedly we yeah. speak english but they just look upon the content that content. we provide yes sir yeah. so having your hold on the english vocabulary is not that important having a hold on the subject, uh, subject is very important very. the uh, the content clarity becomes important okay madam chaala uh, mandi students uh, when they come for initial counseling first day ostharu uh, sir this is upsc is my plan a but this is my plan b Uh, at times you know what i have been taught uh, you know during our times the competition was not that stiff we were told that if you concentrate on one goal you will achieve it don't look at the you know second side or something what's your opinion about having a plan b in upsc uh, so i also had a field to go uh, yes, if i do not clear yeah. my upsc but my father consistently told me if you are not clearing this this exam you are zero okay so he was constantly telling me you have nowhere to run only this path only nothing else like that he was telling it at that time it felt a little bit uh, pressurized, uh, pressurized for me but that really helped me because i had that uh, backup plan but uh, in my mind there was no other way than clearing this exam so every waking minute i'll be like i have to crack this exam so plan b it can be there but we should not have this attitude i have this if i do not clear this okay so we that should, should not affect our commitment to plan a yes sir yes sir. okay okay so you say that plan b having a plan b is good yes. but just keep it away from your subconscious yes. mind also mm. use it only when you feel this is not happening yes sir yes um uh, i i always told there's something called as exit chakra view no okay uh, yes when should a student exit out of upsc 
it depends upon the individuals and sometimes i have uh, seen examples they would not have cleared six prelims but in the seventh prelims they would have cleared first time prelims first time means in first time interview also they would have cracked and come within 100 ranks and sometimes six prelims seven prelims or six main seven means they would not uh, be able to crack the exam uh, if they are identifying what's going wrong and if they're having that um uh, confidence in themselves that they'll definitely clear this exam they can go but uh, the limit should be based upon their family situation also so okay. sometimes the monetary background would not be that good for many people yeah. so they can look out for other jobs and side by side do this okay so you, of, you mean to say maybe 3 to 4 attempts dedicated for upsc for some reasons or any reason upsc is not working out take a short break look for certain you know financial backing mm -hmm. up things and continue your preparation yes. that's what uh, yes. you're trying. being a woman uh, i want you to give a message to the youth of our country what message would you like to give so uh, i read this quote uh, somewhere uh, where uh, if i'm not wrong a lion a wolf a boy and a horse would be going in a jungle and uh, it would be pitch dark and the boy would tell the, to the horse that i couldn't see anything uh, how will i go forward like that and the horse would tell the boy like can you see the can you see your feet the boy would say yeah i can see my feet can you see the next uh, sand before your feet like the earth before your feet yeah i can then take the first step so uh, in this era of perfection they are stuck to one thing and they are not taking that first step they are just planning 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 and not taking the first step so taking the first step i would say and in the in your 20s uh, there is a saying like if you uh, put your head down and work for at least four or five years then you would be in a very good position at if not success then definitely you will be a very very better human being so i did that four years i did not come out of my home i did not attend any friends wedding or any other family function uh, one or two maybe when i was depressed so that gave fruitful result to me so in your 20s try to work hard try to see all the uh, areas that you can uh, do justice so that would be my advice thank you very much ma'am thank, thank you it was so nice talking to you thank you sir. uh thanks for coming to hyderabad and interacting with the students of ekam i'm sure this association will go a long long journey yes, will keep coming to guide our students as and when the need comes yes once again congratulations to you and your family on this grand success thank you sir i'm sure you'll do well in your training also in mussoorie yes. all the best to you for that thank you sir and uh, once again many many congratulations yes sir Thank and thank you so much sir like uh, while i was doing my mock interview i was so scared because yes. uh, at that time my english was also not good and no. you uh, when i told you that my economy was a little bit bad you sent me all those questions to prepare so that also really helped me and thank you so much sir for guiding me thank, thank you most welcome thank most you. welcome thank you very thank much. you